All right guys, Morn, Big Rich here at OFR, and today we are doing a little maintenance. We are trying to uh, get the Shack Koi Fry out of the pool so that we can take it into the fish room and set it up in there to do the next project. In the meantime, um, the koi are running from us. It's a 14 foot long pool and they just keep on going. But here, I'll, I'll explain what we're doing. Okay, we've drained the water down. You see the water was up here. It was almost a three quarter of a foot thick. There's the rest that we haven't caught yet. They're right in that corner. And the rest is, this is all empty. And we're draining it now with this pool cover pump. It'll, it'll drain down to about an eighth of an inch. Um, so what we're gonna do is, Will sneaks up the backside over there. You see him, he jumped up on the deck. <laughs> he's being very, very quiet. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna reach in and scoop and hand it to me and I'm gonna take and run. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm running around the deck or the pool. Ouch. There's the pool. Now this 350 is dirty right now, but this was their water that we pumped up in, so we got a lot. Look at those guys. There's some big ones in there. We got a lot of dirt. There they go. Stirred up is what we did. There they go. Now they're all loose. And you see we got duckweed in here. We got some water sprite. Um, we're going to fill this up probably about to here. A little bit below so it's not on the overflow. See the overflow here with the duckweed in it? That was overflowing to here. We're not going to do that. We're going to run it off its own filtration. Fill it up to about right here on the overflow. That way these fish can stay in here. And we can continue growing them. And not be on our system until we get the tank cleared out and you know all that kind of stuff right now it's a temporary situation this is what we cleared out to put the pool up at we had to cover the rate grate the register for uh you know this is where all the filtration was that was under the bellagio tanks we cleared this out and moved the couches around so that now our main walkway is right there we have to come through there and walk through here the pool will be set up here it's seven foot out it'll come out to about here and it's 14 foot long and we needed that set up because inside the the pool room in, or the fish room that 3,000 gallon tank is started to leak first time in three years so we have to take it down and fiberglass the corners like i wanted to do in the first place but you know jonathan straczynski says no this first product is so good you don't need to fiberglass the corners and i i knew i shouldn't have listened but i listened to him now we're having to take it back apart and fiberglass the corners i've always fiberglassed the corners of wood builds so I don't know why I listened, but you know, he says, I've had my, my tank running for 12 years and no problems. And you know, I don't care. I've got a 3000 as opposed to his 1200. I should have reinforced it. I always overbuild things. So now we're setting up the koi fish pool here to house all of the fish that's in the 3000, including Big Betty for like four days. And they'll be in here. Then we can fix that, drain it, fire, sand it down, fiberglass it, let that dry overnight, paint it, let that dry overnight, no, two days on the paint, and then we fill it up with water and we won't have a problem with it again. So that's what we're doing today, but we had to move all this filtration, this big sump. I mean, this thing is four foot by three foot by three foot, and so is that one. And then these big old protein skimmers and these two big, huge chillers. We had to move all of that and now it's all in our way, but we're gonna store them. I'm gonna give you a sneak behind the scenes. This is a 195 tank, and then there's a 240 and another 195 that we got from Jim Kitchen. Back here was the workout area. We've cleared that out. This is just gonna be fish storage area now. We didn't hardly ever go back here. So we gotta clear out more. We moved a bunch of stuff over to there. We're gonna put the protein skimmers on the far side, and we're gonna start putting these big wet dries on this side. So that's just area before you go outside here. And then we come back to there's Will. <laughs> okay. Okay, now you see the pool is down to about an inch thick. We've got 99% of the fish out. Will's still finding a couple scragglers here and there. Keep that net down the water, Will. Okay. He's got some babies in his net. And then you can see right here, we have... Oh, you can see their tails sticking out sometimes here. Right there by the hose. 
the high fin banded sharks. They're hiding under here. So I'm letting them hide. There's one in this corner still, a little baby. And uh, so what I did was I took this pump and I turned it sideways now. Now it can suck down to eighth inch, you know, depth of water. So as this gets lower, we'll be able to get more and more of the babies. And uh, I think there's only like five or six. Oh, no. Look, they're over there. There's like 10 right there in that corner, Will. Okay. Let me go run these inside, and then I'll come back and get the rest of those. Okay. Yeah, run them okay. in. So now for all you people, see how they're all hanging in that corner? Let me zoom in on them. Anybody that wants to hang out and, and you know, help out around here, we're not always doing super heavy work, but we are always working. So like today, we're moving these koi fish. We're setting this pool up inside. We're going to pressure wash this. The more hands, the better. Like if there was a younger guy here and wants to hang out with us, he or she could, you know, take this net and run it around the pool to the, the 350 gallon tank. And, you know, it's, it's kind of hard for us older people to run fast. You guys run like gazelles. So, you know, we always find the more hands on hand, the easier the jobs always are. So if you want to come by and hang out and help out every single day of the week, we work. We are here working. So just stop on by, you know, call, text, whatever. And, uh, you know, because as soon as we get Josh back home, he's off working now. We're going to be taking these rocks here. There's a pile of them. It goes all the way down inside of the, all the way to, to right there. That's all boulders. And we're going to do the top layer. Okay, let me move back of the pool of the pond out there. We're going to put rocks all across the top layer around the whole pond. Right here we are. There you can see. I'm trying to show what we're going to do without showing the sneak preview of what we haven't videoed yet or haven't put up on video yet. You can see we got a rock in there. So that's what we need to do all the way across this top ledge. Um, but that'll be when Josh gets back. We got a couple other people coming to do that. In the meantime, you know, there were 19 people here. There's all kinds of things that people could be doing. We can clean up this mess from all them people being here. We've got tools to put away. All this kind of stuff and them tools over there and we got couches to put together these boxes right here um i don't know we got to get this enclosed before winter so we have to insulate the ceiling so that we don't have like if i covered this with plastic for the winter like we normally do the whole ceiling would get wet with moisture and then there would grow mold well before it wasn't a problem because it was a white tarp canvas tarp now it's a wood ceiling i don't want mold growing up in there so we have to put up the baffles to let airflow go through then we have to put up insulation then we have to put up plastic then we have to put up drywall all before winter because then i can plastic this if we don't get to enclose it and then this area can stay warm because that exhaust van vents out all the hot moist air from in here from uh you know all the humidity and everything from the pool water evaporating because these are wood beams and they can't be in the humid air. So we've got the fan set on 25% uh, humidity, it turns on. <laughs> and uh, if we had more hands here, we could go ahead and move this back there where I wanted to. We just need more hands. These things are kind of bulky and heavy and we have to lift them up over these pipes that we put in to do the filtration for these tanks. It's just nonstop, we've always got something to do. Now, if you guys remember the scape off, Joshy didn't like the rocks that we had, and I have all of this decorations and stuff in these three tubs. And uh, that was our idea. Let's do a scape off out of the extra stuff we have here. Josh is like, sounds like a good idea. So I used the three tubs of the white rock that was here. Josh didn't use none of this stuff. He went out to the river and got, got rocks and techni technically says that's still stuff on our land. But that's not what we agreed to do. What we agreed to do was get rid of the stuff that's in our way while, you know, doing the scape off. So you guys all say he won because it's a better scape off. Well, he had better stuff to choose from. He wanted to throw them rocks away because they were in our way forever. I got them out of our way. He did not get any of the decorations out of the way. <laughs> he was supposed to use from this pile to help us kill two birds with one stone. One get a tank up and ready Two, use up the stuff that's in our way. And we don't have to move it no more. That was the original idea. So anyways, moving on. Yes, I'm sorry I lost because he cheated. 
He got two plants from Nicholas Ever. You know, they're, although they're fake, but he still he got, you know, decorations from somewhere else, not here. Uh, and when the whole idea was to get rid of the stuff in our way. We've got stuff back. Now, look, I've got this bird cage here. So when I get a bird again, I've got the bird perch. I've got the hammock and all the, the uh, tiki decorations that I wanted to do this whole back deck in. Everything's just in our way. And we have to constantly move it to do one job or another. So, uh, see any more, Will? There's like three or four over in that corner, and that's about it. All righty. One straggler here. That's about it. Okay. Well, we'll get back to you on the next part of this adventure. Okay, guys. We got it all moved. We got it all done. Here is the results. Now, this is temporary. Remember, we moved the couches this way. So, you've got the hot tub here. And then the couches are here. Very small walkway in between, but here is the pond. We moved inside. This is what the shack koi was in on the outside. So now we're down here. Walk this way. We got a little bit of a mess to clean up for moving everything. But then that opens the whole back deck up like so. And, uh, <clears throat> get some off of the, the porch for the, the winter because we're not going to have this enclosed, I don't think, by winter. So just in case, we got it uh, off the porch. Now we can work on this, but we're not in no timeline or time crunch because it has gotten down to 40 degrees at night already. So, uh, in the midst of all this chaos and, and mess, we're trying to make some sort of, uh, <clears throat> you know good come from it all so in moving the, the shack koi you see we got them over there and that's all their water from outside yet with all the algae that stirred up from moving them and stuff so what we're doing is we're going to use this uh it's low right now but just to keep the filter running we're going to go ahead and take apart that 3,000 gallon tank take all the fish and put into here for say four or five days to be able to fix that like i was talking about and then once that's painted and set back up, we can then put this, all these fish, back into the 3,000. But then after that, we have that pool inside the fish room, you all know. And you know, this was, this was new and no holes in it. The one in the fish room has about 90 holes in it that we've patched over the years and it keeps on leaking. So what we're going to do is after we're done with the 3,000 fixing, uh, then we're going to go ahead and replace the pool that's inside the fish room um, with this pool. Then we'll have our walkway back, we can put our couches back, then put the plants back, and we'll, this will all be back open again. That'll be the end of the structure of all this stuff that needed to be done. Got to do this first, then that, then this, then that. While that's over here, we got to do this, and then we change the pool. So uh, this is coming to an end in the next maybe Two weeks well we'll be back to normal with that while doing the pond build so just want to let you guys know the hecticness and the craziness going on all the time here it's just it's just been overwhelming plus you know watching tracy 24 7 uh getting people over here to sit with her so that i can actually go outside and work there's big bill it's just been uh very crazy there's brutus so um, I guess I just got one more thing to say. Stay fishy, my friends. <laughs>